last decade, Women's Shinty has come on in leaps and bounds. As well as establishing an international team, many of the women also play in men's teams. I caught up with three of the girls recently. I started when I was about four years old. Um, Joey Smith, who's associated with Boleskine, uh, had a taster for young players very young players, um, down at Foyers in the old pitch. And from there, it just kind of, I loved it. Me and my brother played ever since, really, so. So Boleskine's your team, but that's really the, the sort of men's team, so you've managed to break into that. That's quite an yeah, achievement. Uh, yeah, um, I love Boleskine, really. They're, they're the ones who gave me a shot at playing, and for me to be playing on their team, it's, it's, it's quite an honour to be playing amongst the men at such a level as well, so. Absolutely, because there's not that many women that make it into men's teams at the moment. No, no, which I think is kind of a bit of a shame, really, because there are loads of girls who are perfectly capable, if not more, of playing with the men and running rings around the men, frankly. So, and What's it like playing against the guys? Do you feel intimidated at all? Do they have respect for you? Um, some of them do. Some of them are kind of a bit misogynistic, but... <laughs> That's what you expect when you're playing in a very male-dominated game. But in some ways, I prefer playing with the men because it's more... Oh, I can't explain it. It's just more of a rush, really. But yeah, yeah, the men's game certainly seems to be a bit, a bit faster than the women's game. Yeah, much faster. Much faster than the women's games. In ways, it's less, less phys physical, the men's games, because it's more tap and move, whereas the women's, you kind of get bogged down and kind of more body checks. <laughs> Tell us about how you became involved in Shinty. Um, very young age, primary school, my cousins were, were under 14 age and we kind of just started playing together and they were going to training so I thought I'll go along with them and from then on I've been playing ever since. And you've been quite instrumental in the women's set up, the women's game? Um, yes, I started from a very young age there as well. We were actually playing, Sky second team was playing Glengarry second team and after the game, two of the Glengarry players asked if I've joined their team. And from then, yeah, since 13, I think the age is when I started there. Glengarry, of course, have a real kind of stranglehold in the game. They're the King Yisi, if you like, of women's shinty. They are, yes. They've done very well. Each year they bring in new players, younger players, faster, fitter, stronger. So they're good at recruiting them in and they turn out to be excellent players. So it helps, yeah. So after starting off Shinty at such a young age and now you're, you're 22, what's made you stick with the game? What is it you like so much about it? Um, I don't know really, I think it's just because it's traditional sport, Scottish, I've grown up with it, my family play it. Um, even when I moved away from Sky I was still playing and just all my friends are from Shinty, so yeah, just stuck with them, it's been good. And where's the women's game at at the moment? Because it's developed hugely over the past sort of 10, 15 years. Yeah, um, at the moment they've just recently changed their, their, their president and people like that. Um, so all the committees changed and I think, although the committee the last time did a great job, this time they've come in with new ideas, they're setting up um, development camps, two day camps in, for all ages, um, for some of the teams that are new to the game, they're setting up six-a-side tournaments, so they just try to promote it more and more and get people to know how well the, the game's coming along, yeah. You started when you were in primary school, so you were very young, just primary two? Yeah, primary two was the first time I played in that school team. So. How many years have you played now? Uh, I'll be about 11 now, so it's quite a long time. And so in terms of women's shinty, how has that developed over the last few years? Um, it's getting bigger and more people are getting involved, which is good. So it's going to be a wider, wider range to choose from in the next coming years. And if there's any girls watching or women that are thinking about taking up the sport, what, what would you say to them? What, how would you encourage them? Uh, yeah, they should definitely do it. It would be good for them to get involved. What are the benefits? It's obviously very healthy. Yeah, healthy and fit. And it'll keep them going. Yeah. So Laura, just tell us a bit about the Scotland game last year because you managed to get quite a, a few points on the scoreboard for Scotland. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, it's, I was one of the youngest players and I didn't think I would do as well as I did. I scored 13 points out of 27, so it was quite a good achievement for me to score as many as I did. What was going through your mind when, when that was happening? 
well, at first when I was one of the youngest, I just had to prove a point. So I was trying to play as best ability that I could, and then I just scored 13 goals, and it was just a big achievement for me, really. Where would you like to see the women's game? Uh, I'd like to see the women's game on an equal par with the men's, definitely. At the moment, it feels like the women's game is definitely being just squashed out. For example, during the international games, you only see very small snippets of the women's international, and that just drives me crazy, really. I'd like to see equal coverage, definitely. I think it'll be, I mean, over the last couple of years, it's improved vastly. So in the next 10 years, I mean, we're going to have primary school girls competitions. I know there's a couple in local areas, but national ones will have them up and running. Uh, high school tournaments, more first, se first teams, second teams, national teams maybe. I know the men's play two games, maybe the women's team will get two games, two legs, one in Scotland, one in Ireland. So hopefully, yeah, just catch up really with the men and be up there with them.